One of the things that you notice immediately about the wall paintings is that women are conspicuous not by their absence, but by their presence. In almost all of the figurative pictures, you'll find a woman there. And what's really interesting is that they are clearly of high status. Look at this beautiful girl. She's got exquisite gold hoop earrings and her bodice has been coloured with that expensive saffron dye. She's actually offering saffron to this kind of superwoman, who I suspect is some kind of divinity because she's got behind her a griffin, which was usually a sign of a, of a goddess or a spirit. The contrast between these women from the Bronze Age and the women of Plato's day in 5th century Athens could not be starker. In Athens, women were second-class citizens. Uh, they were often not allowed out during daylight. They were only given half rations, and they were encouraged not to speak out in public. Whereas these girls from a 1,000 years earlier, from the Bronze Age, they have respect, they have clout, and they clearly have standing in society.